Yo, what's good, Hot Peppers, or anyone that's coming from the Sword channel? You guys are watching this video because you want to know the best settings for sniping on Black Ops Cold War. Now, before we get into it, I just want to let you guys know that if you're on console or PC, these settings may vary. However, we're going to get straight into the graphic side of things. So if you're on PC, I got you guys covered. If you guys are on console, feel free to skip at any point a part of this video. So for graphics, I play on full screen. I play on 1440p, 240hz. And actually, before I get into it even further, these are the graphics settings that I find that work best for me. Um, I do play on 1440p, so that means if you play on 1080p, it's going to be a little bit different. Um, so we'll get into that a little bit later, but I'll keep scrolling down and kind of just go over um, each and every setting that I use. Um, 120 FOV. Frame limit at 335, texture quality at high. Um, if you want to have better FPS, sure, you can drop this down to low. Probably get an extra 10, 20 frames, whatever. But it's really not that big of a difference. Um, essentially, you want to have everything on low or disabled. Uh, there's a couple of things that you do probably want to have, like maybe just adjusted a little bit. Um, so for NVIDIA DLSS, like for the example, this one, um, I noticed I get an extra 20 frames if, if I play on performance. Um, I have less 20 frames, I play on quality, but I can see so much more when it comes to seeing the things across the map, especially on 1440p. And you could use anti-aliasing quality um, and putting it on low. So you have this NVIDIA DLSS on disabled and have this on low if you guys wanna have uh, the sharpness a little bit better. But what I find that works best for me is quality. So again, you wanna have everything disabled or low. So I'll keep going here. Um, the VRAM usage target, I have it at 70%. I have some things customized in the notepad settings. Um, which is found on the notepad file under like your Black Ops Cold War folder, which is a lot to get into. But for just this video, I want to specifically focus on getting the sniping settings out of the way. Uh, so for audio, these are the audio settings that I have. I have music on zero. I like to play music on stream. And also another thing I do want to mention is that I do have a dual PC setup. So again, all these settings are adjusted to what I use and you guys can use this to whatever your PC works best with. And I'll keep going on these settings here. Um, so that's what I have for audio settings. Interface, I like to just have my F FPS and my server latency on the top left corner just in case like I want to know what server I'm on and how many FPS I'm running. Now for controller. Now for the controller settings, for the best timing settings, in my opinion, I use max sensitivities, 1414. I don't really adjust my low zoom or my high zoom just because I've been rocking out with the settings for like the, in the past CODs. Um, I use tactical flipped. I prefer the bumpers just so that way the bumpers have a better response time than the triggers. And response curve type linear, um, target aim assist, all the aim assist stuff is enabled, including with precision. I find precision working best for me. If you want a stronger aim assist, you can rock out with focusing. That's completely up to you. Uh, ground mantle behavior, second press. I definitely recommend this if you don't like the mantling in this game. And then let's just keep going here. So dead zone, this is all depends on what your controller and what you feel comfortable with. Um, I prefer zero and 50. So that way I have a better response time when it comes to uh, sprinting and have better movement. Right stick minimum input threshold when it comes to right stick. Seven is what I find the magic number for me or six. Uh, you want to keep your max input threshold to 99. Keep it like that. Um, and you don't want to be changing this because when you change the um, right stick, it also determines on your response time as well. So obviously, if you put on zero, your stick is going to be constantly moving. You're going to feel a sensitivity difference between zero and let's say like 10, for example. So if the more you move it, the more you're actually legitimately messing with your sensitivity and actually messing up your shot. So please stick with your dead zone. Um, so anyways, um, auto sprint, I have that enabled. I feel like that's really helpful, especially if you have a, you know, left stick um, broken or whatever and now for your keyboard and mouse settings i use this i feel like using a low sense on this game is really really helpful obviously i use controller but if i use keyboard and mouse for videos this is what i use um you guys can go ahead and copy it if you like you want to try it out do whatever you like uh, these are the other settings that i have as well again i don't um i don't really use keyboard and mouse unless i just do it for a video so all the key binds, all personal preference, whatever you guys feel comfortable with, because everyone is just different, right? All right, so now for the uh, class setups, uh, we're gonna go over, I'm gonna go top to bottom real quick. First one is uh, SD class setup, SND, SND, another SND class setup. Um, this is patched using five snipers in one class setup. Three tundras in one class setup, that's also patched. So ignore these two right here. Uh, and then I have uh, respawn sniper classes, such as the Barrett, the Pellington, 
tundra and swiss um i have a double summer class setup glitch tutorial on my youtube if you guys want to go check that out my link will be down below in the description and then as far as um we'll go over the sd class setup so first the swiss k31 class setup this is what i use when i use snd um tiger team tiger team spotlight um, I actually use Bruiser Grip, but since the... Yeah, usually I... Okay, so I use Targeting Spotlight as of the meantime, but usually I use Bruiser Grip on this. And then 8-round Serpent. Um, I have to use this because this takes away the, the camo on this one, unfortunately. So, <laughs> unfortunately, Cold War, you know, Treyarch did that. But yeah, I would recommend Raider Stock when you're playing SD. Um, and then for the Tundra, don't mind the Thermal, but uh, definitely I would be using Targeting Spotlight, Targeting Barrel, 7-round Mag, Serpent Wrap, and then Raider Pad. So same thing applies uh, for actually for the M82. This is what I use: sound moderator, target team barrel, steady game laser, infiltrator grip, salvo nine round fast mag. You can use seven round if you like; doesn't really matter. Serpent wrap, marathon pad, or raider pad doesn't matter. And then uh, for these are the for the perks. We use gunfighter in this class, so I can use some attachments. I like the regular scope. You can use the actual arms if you like. Um, and actually, matter of fact, this one's supposed to be having uh, eight perks. Oh, I mean, not nice, sorry six perks such as this one so these are the six perks i recommend for snd these are the best perks i find very helpful if you're playing competitive play obviously a tracker won't be uh used yeah and also for the psi you want to use this or the shovel the shovel you can run really quick with um which is called the e-tool but the psi if you do a jump slide movement you can actually get to the spawn a lot quicker than any other weapon in the game so enough of that uh sim shots i'm a hawk and field mic that's what i use for snd and then now we're gonna get to respawn so the Pellington, I don't use sound moderator, just so you guys know. I kind of switch it up. I kind of make the classes kind of interesting and a little fun to use. Um, but for the most part, Tiger Team Barrel, Tiger Team Spotlight, Seven Round, Serpent, Raider Stock. Same thing um, as I would use for SND. Now for the perks, I use Flat Jacket, Tactical Mask, and Gung Ho. I don't use any Ninja when it comes to playing 12v12 Mosh Pit because a lot of the times you're going to be hearing explosives and streaks uh, going on around the map so you won't be hearing any footsteps at least for me i don't need to hear any footsteps unless i'm playing s and d um so there's that and as far as score street goes i use air patrol hand cannon and harp or if you want to take out the hand cannon put on uav if you want to be the most strategical most tactical whatever actually matter of fact i need to stop using the hand cannon so i think i'm gonna start using the spy plane again but uh yeah so that pretty much covers all the settings for this video if you guys have any questions please be sure to leave them down below in the comment section i'll be reading every single one through my youtube channel through my account on the sword page so i can answer your guys's questions most importantly drop a like on this video if this video helped out and subscribe to the sword channel and my channel as well to see the best cold war simon content on youtube